Hey, what's up everyone? So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Ahsoka Tano, Padawan from the Clone Wars. So Clone Wars Ahsoka is easily one of my favorite characters. She had such a tremendous story arc, and I can remember being very excited for the Walmart exclusive Season 7 Ahsoka, but I think I'm more excited for this one. And of course, this comes in the plastic-free galaxy packaging. Star Wars The Black Series up top. Here we have a render of the figure. It looks okay. Star Wars The Clone Wars and Ahsoka Tano Padawan. On this side of the box, you get a picture of what's inside. So you get the figure. She stands at 5.6 inches tall, so she's little. I like it. She also comes with two lightsabers. Got plastic-free packaging there. There's the side with the artwork. I don't know who this is. This, this could be one of the worst pictures in the whole line. I mean, this is just awful. She got the yellow for the Clone Wars line. There's nothing on the top and on the bottom. You got the barcode, stuff no one reads, and some logos. And there's the back of the box. Same render as the front. You got a short bio in five different languages. This Ahsoka is number 13 in the Clone Wars line, and you have some stuff down there that no one looks at. And the bio just says, Ahsoka Tano, a young Togruta, was the Padawan learner to Anakin Skywalker and a hero of the Clone Wars. All right, I'm going to get Ahsoka Tano Padawan out of the box, and let's take a look at her. Okay, so here is Ahsoka Tano Padawan out of the box, and let's get a good look at her. So this face, I think, is well done, going from animated to plastic. I think the eyes are just wonderful. You know, they did a great job there. The blue yeah, looks nice. The nose looks good. The mouth, the skin tone is very good. Now on mine, as you see, I am missing a diamond right there. They just, it's like, whoops. And the paint is very messy over here, too. So I'm going to see about getting a replacement, because that is just unacceptable. But apart from that, I think the face is great. <laughs> I think they did a nice job. I think the Leku looked good. The gold around here is just nice. I like how it comes up there. And the little Padawan braid comes down. That looks good. It's kind of a soft plastic. It's a little bendy, but it's, you know, it's pretty much just stationary. And then this one hangs down on that side. But yeah, the Leku looked great. So from the neck up, I think this is stunning. You know, again, going from animated to plastic, it looks absolutely amazing. I'm just really bummed about that right there. And from the neck down, we have her outfit from season three through five. And I think it looks great. The chest up here looks really good. That little cutout, it's a nice color. The back looks good. You can see her shoulder blades there. Skin tone, again, is great. I think these little wraps up here look fantastic. The van braces, all this detail, very nice. The glove, well, that's more or less like half a glove. Yeah, they look great. And then same thing on this arm. Yeah, great detail in here. That looks good. And the belt, I think, looks really nice. The silver there is good. The buckle looks great. I've got a couple of holes there for lightsaber storage. This little thingy that hangs down is pretty flexible. And then the bottom half, you know, it looks good. It's split on the side. Pants, I love the cutouts right there. That's just cool. Super cool in the boots. I love the detail here. So they actually painted these buckles there. Now the left side isn't quite as vibrant as the right side. But again, if you're dealing with this, that's nothing. <laughs> but yeah, the left side is a little dull compared to the right. You know, this looks great. Very clean. Yeah, cool boots. So from head to toe. It is a great looking figure, but again, I am very bummed about that little whoopsie right there. And for articulation, she does have some side to side at the head, but the Leku do get in the way. She's got some down, not much up because of the rear Leku back here. And there is a touch of tilt, not much. The arms can get all the way up to there and she does have some pretty good butterfly joints. Not bad. Now the elbows, mm. I was hoping for a little more range in the elbows. That is it, just a hair past 90. But she does have a swivel at the elbow, swivel at the wrist, and she does have up and down hinges on both hands. There's the right, that's very nice. And on the left, same thing, very nice up and down hinge. And for midsection, she does have some twist right there at the belt line. Okay, pretty good twist, a little bit of crunch, some pretty good back, but it does gap a little bit right there. And she's got some pretty good side to side tilt. And for legs, they can get up that far, they can go out all the way to there because of this new dumbbell hip system. And for swivel, yeah, you got some very, very good swivel at the hip joint. They go back just a little bit. So knees get up to there, not bad. Swivel at the knee. Feet go down a little bit. They don't go up very much, and there is some swivel at the ankle. So the articulation on Ahsoka is pretty good, but you know, just like a lot of figures lately, I wish there was a little more range in the elbows. 
And for accessories, here's the two sabers that she comes with. And I think these hilts look very good. The silver, the black, just the overall sculpt. I think they look great. Now, the green, yeah, the green is nice. And it does grab the light. You know, they look great. But the Shoto really should have been yellow, right? Her Shoto wasn't green. It was yellow. That's unfortunate. They... <laughs> Yeah, missed opportunity, but it's it's no huge deal, but it would have been nice. But this is what we got, and I think they look pretty good overall. And before I stick these in her hands, I want to see what they look like on the belt. Now, these are held on by a very lengthy peg. I do like that. Okay, so there's the Shoto. That'll go on the left. Very tight. Dang. All right. <laughs> That's a pretty substantial peg. I know once I get this in, it ain't coming out. There. All right, that's pretty good. And that's not going anywhere. Okay, let's try the right side. Okay, these are super tight. I kind of like that, but at the same time, they're very difficult to get in. And the belt moves a little bit when you're trying to push it in. There. All right, that is not bad. And once again, those things aren't going anywhere. Man, they look great on the belt. Now, if there was a tad more range in the elbows, you could cross the arms a little better, but that doesn't look too bad. And there she is just standing there with them on her belt. I do love the look of these. I mean, I doubt I'm going to display her like this, but these little holes and pegs work great. All right, so I popped the blades back on and stuck them in her hand, and that's what that looks like. It looks pretty good. The right hand is very tight. Okay, this saber's not going anywhere. The left hand, just the shape of the hand, doesn't grip this one very well. It's just barely in there. The shape of the fingers... I don't know, it's just not very tight, but that's what that looks like. You know, the right one this way, and then, of course, the Shoto in the, you know, traditional Ahsoka, you know, reverse grip. I think that looks okay. And there's both sabers, reverse grip, pointing back this way. That doesn't look too bad. And there she is with the Shoto out in front, and she's in a pretty wide stance. This figure is actually very stable. You can pose her with the feet pretty far apart. She stands up very well. That's kind of a cool pose right there. And I just noticed something, the right elbow right there is starting to separate. Hmm. But I think for now, I think I'm just going to keep her like this with the Shoto in the reverse grip pointing backwards and then the regular length saber up front. That looks okay. So let's go put her on the shelf and let's see what she looks like there. And here we are. And yeah, she looks good there. And I think she's a pretty good height. I mean, if you wanted to get picky, she could be a little shorter, but overall, it's not bad. I love the look of the green sabers. I mean, they really grab the light. But she looks really, really good there next to Anakin and Obi-Wan. Yeah, pretty happy with this one. And real quick, that's how she scales with Season 7, so that's actually not bad. And there she is compared to the Rebels version of herself, and I think that looks good as far as height difference. But obviously she's going to live right here, and I can't get over how good this little trio looks right there. Super happy. So bottom line, I think the figure looks incredible. I mean, they pretty much captured the look of Ahsoka from seasons three through five of the Clone Wars. I mean, they could not have done a better job on the figure. Now, they could have done a better job here. You know, that's, I'm sure it's just on mine or maybe a few of them. <laughs> it's not across the board. I do know that. But the face does look very good. The Leku, the outfit is perfect. Just perfect. Now, keep in mind, the left hand does not hold the hilt very well. Okay, the left hand, just the sculpt of the hands. That could have been better, but overall, it's a tremendous figure. Very happy to have it, but just like always, I want to hear from you guys. So comment below and let me know what you think of Ahsoka Tano Padawan from The Clone Wars. And if you enjoy videos on Star Wars The Black Series, please consider dropping a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and don't forget to turn on notifications. I'd certainly appreciate it, and I just thank you guys so much for watching. See you all next time.